Hey everybody, welcome to Saving Green's Homestead. You guys, I just wanted to bring you out here and give you a, a hopefully a quick update on a lot of things that's happening. I've got so many things going on <laughs> that I'm just trying to get it all done and it seems like time is just running fast um, past me. So as you can see, I still need to work on this jungle back here. So I have made some progress in that we started pulling out these um, barrels here and we took down all the trellises. If you remember, there was trellises on these. The trellises are now laying off in the pond area. I will be getting out here and getting started on pulling the irrigation system apart because right now I have the irrigation tubing connected to the chicken wire here. And so I'll be coming out here to take that apart and then uh, roll this chicken wire fencing back so then I can start cutting all of these bushes here. This oleander is just gone crazy. And I know it's because I have chickens back there that are fertilizing them and keeping them fertilized and then just on the other side of the wall here the city waters constantly uh, the landscaping and stuff for our neighborhood so these trees are getting plenty of water and nutrients and so they've just exploded in growth I mean just real crazy so Anyways, I got, we got all of this, the trellising taken down so I can get started on trimming all of this back. And then once I do that, then uh, we'll come back and get the, rent the machine that I, we're going to need to dig all of this out and lower this ground level here. And then I can put down whatever I'm going to use. I haven't fully figured out what it is exactly that I'm going to use but I'm going to use something as a barrier between the bottom of the beds and the dirt because these trees and bushes here their roots are growing up into my garden beds which is preventing the things the plants that I plant in these beds preventing them from growing successfully they're usually the plants are stunted or um, malnourished and stunted <laughs> and very small so I'm gonna be out here getting that put together but I wanted to show you that we at least started we at least started on it and then over here it's just all dried up stuff except for I do have let me see if I can uh, get in here and show you. Oops. I'm trying to get used to, I got a gimbal for Christmas and I'm trying to get used to using it and how to aim it and <laughs> what to do with it. But um, anyway, so I have onions growing in here from the onions that I planted last season. I just left them and they flowered and those seeds from those flower heads just landed everywhere in here. So now I have onions just popping up. And I kind of like that whole thing, that whole idea of just onions popping up everywhere. So I think I'm gonna run with that this, this year too. Um, and some of my beds, I'm just gonna scatter onion seeds everywhere and they can just pop up and grow wherever they choose they want to pop up and grow so yeah I like that and so I've been coming out here and pulling up some of these onions and using them in my dishes and recipes and stuff that I'm making I have a lot of greens a lot of collard greens right here and they're healthy and they're pretty and I just gave some of them away to a friend from church. And I'm gonna be out here, and once these grow out again, I'm gonna have a whole bunch more to use. And then look at these broccoli. 
I have broccoli florets popping out on these plants here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'll be taking all this stuff apart. And I know I keep saying that, right? <laughs> but I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. There's just so much stuff that I'm trying to get done. And you'll see what I've been working on. Look at this chart. So pretty. This red chart. And my Meyer lemon is hanging in there. We've been getting into the low 20s. One night I think we even hit 19 degrees. Oh my goodness. Look at my apple. Okay, see that there? That is a flower bud. <laughs> and there's flowers popping out. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know my plant's alive, but you guys, it's been so cold. I wouldn't think that it would start flowering like that, but it is already. Huh. I'm excited about that. It makes me think of spring. <laughs> but I wanted to take you guys over here and show you some stuff over here. Remember that bed that I put together? Savannah bed. I haven't done anything really with it yet. I will be making a video to show you what I'm going to do with that. But I just haven't done anything with it yet. Um, if you hadn't watched the video of me unboxing that raised bed and putting it together, then you should go back and watch that video. I'll put that link in the description because I have a affiliate link with them. And if you choose to, that you want to try out that bid, then you can use my affiliate link. And then there's a discount code also for it, for you to use and get a discount on it. Oh, look at this. That's that green cauliflower. Look at how pretty. And those are just side shoots on this uh, cauliflower green cauliflower hmm anyways this purple broccoli flowers is still very pretty and then I have some onions growing in between there which is nice I love onions <laughs> you can never have too many onions in my opinion so that's nice We've had so much growth out here because of all the rain and stuff that we've had recently. So, everything just looks nice. You guys, these are sugar magnolia peas. And then there's that red one. And I'm thinking that one might be a blue shelling pea. I'm not exactly sure which one is which, but all my peas look like they're doing really good. And I'm happy for this pod that I have right here. <laughs> I know there's going to be more coming out soon, so I'm happy for that. Let me show you these lettuces and radishes. My lettuces are getting bigger. Some of them are dying. They're not making it like that one. This one right here, he looks like he's struggling. But some of them are just beautiful and they're doing fine. So, and like I said, our temperatures have been so cold that I'm amazed that some things are growing as well as they are. Was sitting there. I guess I need to hurry up and catch up to him. <laughs> I'm gonna be harvesting these turnips and the turnip greens. Look how pretty the flowers are on here. They're just beautiful. And so 
I'm gonna be using these for dinner tonight. Not all of them, just some of them for dinner. I need to make some room in this bed anyways because I wanna start planting some more stuff in here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> We've had to go back to school with that one on staying out of my garden bed. Because lately, he's just been wanting to chill in my bed. No. Because hanging out and relaxing might turn into making deposits. And I don't want that in my bed. So I try and keep them out. Look at the color contrast on these flowers up against that lettuce. That is so beautiful. That is so pretty. But anyways, let's see. Okay, so this over here is doing pretty good. The lettuces and stuff are doing well. And then these uh, flower bulbs that I planted in here are all coming up. And that's these guys. So I'm happy about that. My strawberries survived. They're surviving this cold. And I don't even have them covered up or mulched or anything. But what I really wanted to show you guys is this. I was out here digging while the ground was still saturated and, <laughs> and uh, easier for me to use. Um, to dig into, I went on ahead and buried those irrigation pipes that were sticking up and fixed the sprinkler. There's a sprinkler over here. That sprinkler um, got broke, was broken um, when I had the gate installed, and so I fixed it. So the irrigation is ready to go for us to start using and the reason why I was working on that so feverishly was because we're gonna start working on getting our sod soon and so I buried the rest of this irrigation this um this uh, sprinkler head right here was out and so I buried it and there were some others on the other side over here that um, were out of the dirt too. So I got them all buried. While I was out here burying all this <laughs> irrigation piping, I went on ahead and dug out this hole for my other tree to finally get it planted. So I've been busy doing stuff. <laughs> I just haven't really gotten to do much in the backyard yet. So that's where this tree is going to go. So, and then I want to show you these cabbages, and they're doing good. I've got a cabbage head. I've got a cabbage head. <laughs> I'm happy about that one. The other ones are starting to form too, but that one is doing really good. So you can see all the cabbages. They're all still here and growing. They look a little bad in some areas because of the cold snap that we had that really got to them. So, and then over here, carrots. These carrots are doing really, really well. I love this one with the dark stems. That's that black nebula one. And I can tell it because of the dark stems and then the pretty colors on the fronds. So. And these are doing good. The only one that's not doing as great is this one. And it was treated the same as all the rest. I 
same dirt, same everything. Same amount of water, same amount of light. <laughs> I think it's the variety is just, it grows slowly. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the reason because all my other ones are doing really good. Okay, and I just wanna kinda update you guys in here as well. Nothing on the pepper seeds yet. Yesterday, I took some cuttings from a persimmon, a navel orange, a Meyer lemon, and then I have peach cuttings in there. I'm rooting for a friend from church, and so uh, I've got that started. <laughs> and then I had to dig out these containers right here. So I'll show you what I'm gonna use these for. Okay, so now for some of you that's watched my channel for a while, you know that I like to feed my chickens fodder. Basically, I sprout grains for my hens. And I know right now there is questions um, and rumors going on about the feed for chickens. To be honest, I started sprouting fodder for my, my girls because I just felt better changing their diet from processed food to naturally grown sprouted fodder. You can go back and look on my videos where I, I talk about the benefits of that, but I'm loving it because it saves me so much money and everything is expensive and it doesn't take a lot of grains to feed my girls so i like the price savings in it but check those videos out so that's pretty much it right now that's what i got going on which is a lot thank you so much for watching this update video and as always god bless